Welcome back everybody. Got a great video for you today. We're just gonna jump right straight into it. It's installing a mini split. It's the latest technology according to our vice president. It's like putting a man on the moon, but better. If you wanna get a cock gun on your hat or your shirt or even a sweatshirt, there'll be a link down below the video in the description. So this is the room that the mini split's going in. This is the indoor unit. This has the Wi-Fi controlled app head going up on this wall interesting wall it's some sort of masonry skim coat over the top of brick this is pre-existing <laughs> uh, looks like it's some sort of hard masonry over over the brick because these houses are all 100% brick or buildings are not houses so I'm going with tap cons and glue. I'm going to tap con the heck out of it and put construction glue for the backing plate. These are your refrigerant lines. They're going to swing 90 degrees. Go straight out the back. This electric wire right here goes in and makes the connections on the front side. This tube here is the drain tube. This is the backing plate, just like mounting a microwave. So I'm just getting the first two tap cons put into this wall of masonry and brick. If you've used tap cons in the past, you know that they don't all grip. So I put a ton in. I probably put 10 or 12 different ones in there. I also put up some construction adhesive. All together, I'm confident that nothing's coming off that wall. This is just a test fit to mark out for the big hole that I've got to drill through this brick foundation wall that's probably, oh, 12 to 14 inches thick of nothing but brick. What you're looking at here is the bracketry that holds up the mini split off the ground. You see all those weeds there? So this is a rental house. There's probably not a lot of upkeep and weed management. That's why I wanted it mounted up high off the ground. Um, if someone comes through with a weed whacker, they'll probably weed whack the mini split condenser unit or they spray weed killer on it. This keeps it up off the ground and away from the weeds. I tried to line all the holes up in a brick, in the middle of a brick. The mortar of this brick building turns to dust. Uh, I don't know how the building's still standing. These concrete anchors came with the bracketry from Toe Sot, T-O-S-O-T. I didn't want to use the impact to send them home. That's why I switched to a ratchet so I know exactly how much I'm cranking on them. You don't want to pop those bricks open. I drill in a pilot hole in the bricks before I go up to my 3 8 inch drill bit. It's just to keep those bricks intact instead of blowing a hole in them and cracking them out.
Today's video is sponsored by FilterBuy. You might be watching this video because your HVAC system isn't pumping out enough cooling capacity to cool down your house. Before you go ordering a mini split, why don't you go check out the filter for your HVAC system. FilterBuy is a filter company. They're all made in the USA. They've got hundreds of different sizes. They have several different MERV ratings to suit your needs. They have a subscription service. You can get signed up for that and get a discount. You can schedule them to be delivered to your house. You always have a furnace filter on hand when you need it. There'll be a link in the top of the description box and it will also be pinned in the first comment to where you can get your furnace filters. This weighs about 50, 55 pounds. A little sketchy putting up there. Uh, but once I got the bolts through and snugged it all down, it was fine. You can see there are rubber feet to isolate it. Um, there is no vibration in this at all. Right here, I'm just getting the electricity hooked up from the disconnect to the actual outside condenser unit. So what I'm doing is drilling a pilot hole from inside the house to outside the house at a slight angle. These are where the line sets, the power wire, and the drain tube are going to pass through. You can see how thick that brick wall is. No insulation, just bricks. This is my new tool. Kind of proud of this purchase. That hole saw was only $20 on Amazon. And it went through this brick wall like butter. At this stage, I think I turned off the hammer function because it was a little too aggressive for these old bricks and it's just basically drilling through the bricks. There'll be a link down in the description where you can get this hole saw. If you're doing work in the city, you're gonna need it. So that's about as far as I went drilling from the outside. And the reason I went to the outside is I wanted all that debris to fall outside the house instead of inside the bedroom. I'm actually spinning it in reverse here just to get the hole started and I'll switch to going forwards and it just buzzes right straight through this. So right here I'm hooking up the electricity that will go out that hole and connect to the outside condenser unit. You spun out those line sets. This is the drain tube right here. This has to go out as well. Clips, bottom clips are right here. Everything latched in, it's level. 
I did have to slide it out and readjust the drain tube to just a different orientation so that it would go as flat as it can to get to this little escutcheon here. I don't know if that escutcheon's good or bad because this whole thing would have covered up the hole, but whatever, it's there and I ain't taking it back out. You can see the line sets coming out through the hole. So I'm going to get in there with a long stick or a screwdriver to start that curve in there and not right at the edge. So these are the line sets that come with the toe soat, T-O-S-O-T. -O -O uh, they're only 16 feet long. That is very common with these DIY pre-charged mini split kits. So what you saw right there, you're gonna see a slow-mo right there. <laughs> uh, that's a good thing. That means that I didn't mess anything up, that the unit is fully sealed up. It's charged with nitrogen. That's what that burst of air was. That's how you know that it's still nice and tight. Using the nylog on the flared fittings. I'm, I am using their flared fittings. Their, their fittings looked amazing. Probably be better than I could do. Again, using the nylog on the mating surfaces, not the threads. The threads don't need to be lubed up. A lot of people say, I want to lube up my threads. It can lead to over torquing and, th and stripping the threads if you lubricate the threads. That's why I only put the nylog on the mating surfaces. Now at this stage, a lot of guys just let her rip, potato chip, but on the handyman, we go the extra mile. <laughs> so I'm going to hook a vacuum pump up to the line sets and suck it. Suck it for about 30 minutes. That fitting right there that you just saw me put on, a lot of mini split kits are now being shipped with that to make it easier on you to hook up a little vacuum pump like this. Now, there probably will be some professional HVAC technicians show up in the comments. You need to charge your lines with nitrogen and see if it holds pressure, not just a vacuum. You can't just use a vacuum and see if it holds that vacuum to determine if there's leaks at all. So right here, I'm just gonna crack it open. You'll see the gauge on the left show a little bit of positive pressure. I close it down and now I'm gonna disconnect the gauges and the pump. And now I'll reopen it and let all the refrigerant out into the line sets. That was pretty tricky. This is the disconnect. You just pull it out, flip it over, pop it in, you heard a beep. Beep. I heard a beep. And that's it. Zip. It's up and running. I think it called a Bluetooth earlier, but it's Wi-Fi. Connects to Wi-Fi. There's a, a you know a picture of the app. I didn't pair it to my app on my phone because. This isn't mine. The, the renters are going to download the app and they'll be able to pair this to the app and control it. But that's what it looks like. This is another important part that I don't didn't get much on video, but I wrapped all the line sets, drain tube, and power wire. And then it all goes into like a, a chase. It basically looks like a downspout 
a plastic downspout. So you screw on half of the clamshell to the brick, and then you route your line sets down, over, and up, and then you clip on the face. It just keeps everything protected. You don't want this in the UV rays because it'll break down over time, and it makes it look a lot better too. I'll be posting pictures of the finished line set cover on my Instagram. So you can go over there. That'll be linked down in the description. Does anybody out there have mini splits? All these northern latitudes are getting hotter because of global warming. The ice caps are melting and they will have beachfront property soon. So they're gonna need some air conditioning, but they don't wanna rip out their traditional hot water boiler heat system. Fix and flips and track homes. They are never done correctly as far as the HVAC. Uh, they're never sized correctly. I don't know how many houses I've been in where there's just not adequate cooling. And these mini splits are the go-to answer for when you need a little boost. You know, you get those track homes, they're three stories tall, you know, because they got the finished basement and the top floor is boiling and the middle floor is, is okay because all that heat rises up there. It's a great business to get into. Just mini splits. Yeah, that kind of rolls off the tongue. Maybe I'll start up a new business called Just Mini Splits. Well, if you've got questions, comments, concerns about HVAC, mini splits, getting your EPA license off, the, off of the internet, or just buying refrigerant off of eBay, I want to see those comments down below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.